Perfect. All right, Tanya, thank you very much. Um, as Tanya mentioned, today we're going to be talking about um, the idea of bridging that gap between the marketing and the sales teams and utilizing CRM and how CRM can come into the fold to actually really help those two teams work uh, better together between the data transfer, between the working on those clients, between um, just you know, even having that little bit of a further look on the information that we do know about these individuals coming in. Um, as Tanya mentioned, my name is Chuck Harris, and I'm a, a senior consultant with the uh, with the BDO Solutions Practice. And with me today, I have Bob Clayton, uh, who is a manager with BDO, um, and together we specialize in the, in the implementation of dynamic CRM for businesses like yourselves, and uh, really how these businesses can utilize the system for stuff like their sales process and their marketing processes. Okay. Before we kick off too far into this, I do want to just give you guys a little bit of a quick um, intro to CRM, if there is anyone on the line who has never seen this application before. Uh, but on my screen here right now is what we have is we do have the dynamic CRM system. This is uh, an online version of it, um, and it is the, uh, the latest version of it, which is uh, CRM 2016. Okay. Um, CRM is available uh, via a web browser, which is what I'm in right now. You can also access it from your Outlook um, or also from a mobile device, such as a tablet or your mobile phone. Uh, there's apps that you can get for both of those, which will allow you to utilize the application in those spaces. When we think about this system, what it's really done is it's really broken down into the three sections of sales, service, and marketing. So it's built to be able to help really manage the 360 view on who we have as a customer coming into the system. We're going to start today in the marketing area, and we're going to talk about the marketing process in terms of sending out some communication to people, managing some of our campaigns, getting leads to come into the system, and then transitioning those leads over into the sales team for the sales team to take it over, um, qualify those leads, take them forward through an opportunity, and then hopefully, if all goes well, we will win that deal and take it through over to the, uh, to the end. Um, part of it as well, we'll show a little bit of metrics of how we can gather some information coming through so we can get our KPIs coming back. How much did this particular campaign make? How many leads do we get through that? Um, how is a particular salesperson performing versus other salespeople as well, and of course, how is the organization performing um, just so we can really get some key metrics coming through, okay? We're going to start off in the marketing space here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my marketing section, and as we can see here, I do have a number of what we call entities that really allow me to dig in and see more of the information about marketing. The first one we have at the top here is really our leads, right? And our leads are our unqualified prospects, people we hope we can do business with, but we don't know what type of business we're going to be doing with them yet. Um, next thing down, of course, is a marketing list, which is what we're going to really start into here, um, which is going to be linked into our campaigns. Okay? So we have our marketing list here, of course, our campaigns. When we think about a campaign, is a campaign is just allowing us to group some activities together in order to be able to say, these are those activities I'm performing all under one umbrella. 